Hello, it's Jason Pamp, Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtor. Well, today I'm back at the one acre lot community of Vintage Oaks in Bromfels, Texas. And the reason I'm here is because there's a lot behind me that just came on the market today. And as of uh, late March, 2022, it's getting very difficult to find anything. So uh, yeah, when something comes on the market, I'm jumping on it to get some more information out. Anyways, this is a beautiful lot. The lot is 1321 Merlot. Well, I would say it's an interesting lot, but let's go check it out. All right, this is a resale lot. The seller is asking 179 for it. You can see the orange flag over there, that's one side. And sorry about the wind, we do have a front coming through, but like I said, in this market, when something comes on it, you gotta get a video of it. And it cut to the other kind of big oaks up front. So you do have some really nice oak trees towards the front of the property. The property is 1.13 acres. Now, in front of it, this is a open space area, so nothing's gonna be getting built on right out in front of you. Really nice. And just over that direction, I know you can't see it from here, is the playground park area. They have live concerts there sometime during the summer. And just a little zigzag couple roads is the main amenity center with the Lake River. This is on the propane side. God, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so, always have to factor that in. It is going to usually cost about another five to six thousand dollars to bury a propane tank. But uh, yeah, it's showing off some of the oaks. There is a lot of cedar and stuff in here, so, and you would have to build a culvert for your driveway coming in. But you can see off in the distance some of the other houses that have built on this road. It's also kind of nice that um, there's a little side entry that you don't have to go all the way through the community of Vintage Oaks to get to this spot. So it does give you really good access for getting in and out of the community. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna go to the edge of the property and kind of go up because uh, there's a little path kind of cut through here. As you can see there, making it a lot easier because man, there's a lot of cedar that's gonna have to come out before this property looks usable. And once the cedar comes out, the property will look a lot more like what you're seeing here. So all of a sudden it's like, wow, okay, that's a much nicer looking property. Yeah, they cut all the cedar out. So you can picture this to be more of your front yard. And we're gonna keep walking up to where I would think the ideal build site would be. which it does have a little plateau going up in the back. So what you're seeing through the woods right here would be a pretty good build site. It's also relatively flat. The slope does go from the front up to the top. So you would have some stairs on the front of your house. And yeah, if you heard Merlot, there is some traffic that goes through here, but not a crazy amount. It's not like curvature road, but uh, yeah, you do have some nice oak trees that will be on the perimeter of the property, which is always ideal. Just so you know that it's not gonna be in the building envelope that they don't have to remove those oaks and you'll get to enjoy them. Let's crawl through the woods a little bit. This is why I said it's a little interesting. I don't know what happened, what's going on here, but it looks like they were using this as a kind of a dumping area for some old rocks. But all this would have to be cleared out and uh, leveled. And because yeah, if your house, this is a great spot for the house facing forward. And uh, let me check my phone real quick. I didn't check to see what the compass said. Well, yes, west is behind us. So yeah, the sun would be setting behind you, but there's a lot of trees and stuff that were back behind you. So like I said, I don't like having the sun setting right on my back porch, but this would be probably a really nice build site right here 
if they came in and did some uh, excavation, cleared all this rocks out, put your foundation in. You do have another house just over up on the side. But uh, yeah, let me walk back up here just because it's easier. And I do want to show you what's going on to my right where there's a little berm or a little plateau going up. And it's about uh, probably a seven foot sudden rise in the property right there. That's why this, another reason why it's interesting. It's not the same level all the way through. But definitely not really walkable back there. So I'm gonna go back to the edge to make it to the back part of the property. But in this market, availability is the best ability. And this one's under 200,000. And like I said, it just came on the market. Today's day one. So it probably came on the market, went live yesterday. All right. This side of, the, of that little ridge there is not nearly as steep, but you do have another relatively flat spot back here. So if you wanted that whole front area to be front yard, this could be a build site back here. It's clearing out a bunch of this underbrush. And also get you a little bit further away from uh, road noise. All right, we see the orange flags showing that this is the back corner here. And something else that's interesting, this rock wall is just kind of interesting and it carries on a bit. I always wonder how long these rocks have been here, what the history of this little wall going around is. But you see, we got some oak trees toward the back of the property as well. And I've been trying to get the plot map to come up. I'll have to look at that later. But I think your property line would still go back here a bit. And this is what I don't know. Is that part of their property? And I don't think it is. I think this is part of this property too, but there's more of that actual wall, that old rock wall that somebody put a lot of work into putting up. <clears throat> but until I look at the plot map, I think this property goes back into this section here too. But if you're interested in it, I can verify. But you can see they did the very long driveway and they put their house on the back of the property. Which if you did the same, that's not a bad location to build if this is part of the same property. And yeah, I think it is. All right, let's see if I can get through here. And I'm still alive. That rock slid. Whew, getting too old for this. All right. Coming back down. Like I said, this isn't a bad property. It's just kind of divided into two spots. You got the lower shelf and then this upper shelf. We're still on that upper shelf. So yeah, if this was your build site, this isn't bad at all either. You just have a little bit further driveway and that little ledge dropping off that we saw earlier. All right, 
think we're coming back around towards the oh there's just another part of that ledge going down all right, i'm going to shut it off and i'm going to go back toward the front of the property i think you're pretty good gist of it you've got like still sloping that ledge and then another flat spot up here but until i get that plot map to come up on my phone i'm just getting horrible reception i won't know exactly the shape of this property well yeah for one 180k not too bad just a little different all right that's gonna wrap the tour of 1321 Merlot in the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas. Just came on the market, so uh, like I said a couple of times in this video, things are moving fast. So if you're interested, please reach out to me really quick. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro turn off. GoPro turn off. GoPro shut down. GoPro turn off.